brother? You're tuned into the greatest podcast this side of the Mississippi. It's the episode of the bowl. Oh, yeah. I can feel it coursing through my veins, through my ears, down to my soul. Epizootics of the blow. Man, it always sounded like he was about to die with every word. All the time. You know what it's, Ooh, it yeah. sounded like? The same old intro. <laughs> we it's been a, a long yeah. time. Snap yeah. into a capillary. <laughs> yeah. Snap into an aneurysm. <laughs> I was legitimately I afraid for sun. Mark. I see the moon. I see the stars shining down on what is to be the championship podcast of the USA. You think the Macho Man ever did cocaine? No, never. Never, never. touched it. Never no, touched no, it. No, nor the Iron no, Sheik. No, nope, they never no. did. <laughs> of course no. they did. Drug free. The 80s they stayed or in stars. school. They drank their milk and they never touched drugs. Never touched steroids either. No. No, nope. definitely <laughs> not. That's all natural. They're natty. Yeah. Natty bodybuilders. <laughs> Man. Man, uh, good times. You know, I, I haven't been in wrestling in a while, but I could see myself getting into it in a few years. Just why not? Yeah. I it's year the same round. Thing. It's year round. Yeah. It's uh. It's enter- It's better than uh, counting on and all those shitty shows. And oh, re- yeah. real. Uh, I have a buddy who goes things. every year. They come through when they come through that Verizon Arena. He goes every time. Really gets front row seats. Ooh, makes yeah. a poster. Huh? Uh, when uh when WrestleMania comes through or whatever it's called. Who? Uh, um, my buddy Mason. Oh. He like, yeah, he, go, oh, Mason he gets, does? yeah, he gets front row tickets <laughs> and yeah, that's cool. I had a buddy that was, uh, he was one of my roommates in college. He's a, <laughs> I got, he was a, he's a big fat guy. He's like 400 pounds and he went to one Ooh, of, yeah, brother. I love a good fatty. <laughs> he went, he went to one of them and he had an apron on a lot of ways to interpret that, but <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> this was back in like 2000, 2001. He had an apron on and brought a spatula and a chef's hat. And he said, I can smell what The Rock's cooking. <laughs> he actually got in The Rock's autobiography. He, they took what? a picture. Yeah. He's on page like 180 or something like that. And it's a big old picture of Dave wearing the apron with that, that writing <laughs> on it. It's hilarious. It's like his claim to fame. Good for him. I know. I'm like a little bit jealous. Like It's a, it's a genius. <laughs> And he never did anything else with his life. No, never. Yeah. He's a principal now. Uh, yep. a, uh, actually, <laughs> just today. He's paddling boys and girls across the country. <laughs> Literally four hours ago, a professional wrestler who dazzled fans for decades has died. Leon Which? Leon Baxter, best known as Wrestling Pro, passed away Thursday. Never heard of him. <laughs> he has not dazzled me. Wrestling Pro. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So. Like Christianity, I have no idea what... You guys are fucking. Talking yeah, I I never all. got into I wrestling. Never got it, into wrestling no. at all. Yeah, I Same did a here. little bit as a kid, but not like in way into it like some people. I, don't I know. wasn't allowed to watch it. Really? Yeah, wasn't allowed to watch it. Uh, Ricky Griffin watched it a lot, so I go to his house and we watch <laughs> SummerSlam, <laughs> King of the Ring, all that. You know, Royal Rumble. Right. Royal, Royal touched Rumble, you? obviously. Royal Rumble's great. Did Riffy, uh, Ricky Griffin Riffy. touch you? <laughs> Ricky Griffin. No, actually, they, they, Ricky, they, were, <laughs> they were peers, so it was okay. It's yeah. funny. Oh, yeah. I, actually, they I was, were experimenting. They were just experimenting. I was yeah. thinking yeah, was about this this week. I saw some old pictures that were on Facebook, and I have one of Ricky Griffin. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Is that his he, middle he's, name? He's, he's his a, last name Epstein? He's the guy in the blue right up front. <laughs> he's the, right, the guy in the blue right up front. That's Rick, oh, nice! Yeah, that's, with the mushroom cut. Yeah, that's Ricky. He's yeah. got the whole wow, cut. Wow, that looks exactly like Ricky Griffin. Yeah, it's it's exactly how you'd picture him. You I see him? Yeah. I remember I had when, that haircut. I remember when the mushroom <laughs> yeah. cut was cool, and I went to the barber and uh, back when we, we had hair. Yeah. We went to we went to the barber, and the guy's name no shit. The guy's name was Smitty, and uh, Smitty. He had the hair that was slicked. Like parted and slicked to the side with glasses and a mustache. His name was Smitty, and I remember asking him for a mushroom cut, and he did that shit. And I was like, "It's a little long." And I remember Smitty going, "I was nine years old. I still remember this." And Smitty going, he he looks at me and he goes, "Well, you don't want to take it too short, otherwise the mushroom turns into a toadstool." <laughs> <laughs> That's his joke. That was. <laughs> Totally you know, fair. I, I think we <laughs> totally made, fair, Smitty. That's a Smitty joke. No, this, yeah. is, this is going to make you guys feel old, and I might be off, but I think we're actually 
uh, it's been WWE longer than it was WWF. I think we're there. I might be mm. off by a year or two. Uh, but yeah, that we're be, getting close. Because growing yeah. up, it was always WWF. WWF. Me. I mean, Nick might not remember that. Then but. the World Wildlife Foundation sued him. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And what are they doing? It should it should still Nothing. be. Nothing. Who w- cares about the WWF? Right. <laughs> they should have taken it out in that the is, ring. You know, that is a testament to how big wrestling actually is. Because they had to change their name. And they are still. Now, everyone. If you say WWE, people don't even flinch. They don't even go. Let oh, you mean me the w- tell you something, WWE. WF Tell uh, me something, brother. I want to challenge you in the ring, me versus a panda, for the rights to use WWF for the rest of our lives. You bring your biggest cougar to the ring, and I'll take it down. It'll be me and Hulkamania and Andre the Giant versus (laughs) your three strongest and most intense animals, and we will take you down for the Intercontinental (laughs) Championship, brother. Oh, yeah. I would have watched. uh, That reminds me of... um, uh, what was it? Uh, Semi pro when he wrestles a bear <laughs> in the cage. <laughs> Wait, everybody see. panic! <laughs> so you guys remember semi pro, but you don't remember pro? No. Oh, R.I.P. No, in no, peace. No. No. Um, this is gonna blow your mind, dude. This is gonna blow your mind. You know, WWF was only yeah. around for four years. What? What? But technically, the name of the World Wrestling Federation was only 1998 to 2002. What was it before that? Because I always remember it being WWF. It was the NWO, like brother. since the 80s. Okay, no, that's WCW. The new, the new world. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm, so, I'm going to keep looking here. Because I feel like it was around since uh, yeah, 82 was, yeah. or something. It was around for a long time. Let's this see. is when you this is when you couldn't look up the uh, royal family's last name. Oh yeah. Yeah, he didn't know. They're fucking how good me up. is your little Didn't know how to use the Google machine. How good's your little smart box? Huh? Oh boy. Yeah. Let's not stay on this shit. Let's go to a, a new you. topic. What do you yeah, Nick's, Nick's checked the, out. Yeah, completely. he was checked out over there. I completely checked out. Yeah, he didn't know anything about wrestling. You can't add your two cents about what your take is on wrestling. It's uh, for dumb and white trash people. Oh, God. Oh, wow. There goes How Arkansas. There yeah. goes our whole art. Sorry, guys. I mean, uh, no, you know, that was a little harsh. I, I just, it's so lame to me. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <sighs> just not, it's strong it's take, not my thing. It's rich. not my thing. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> hey, do you think, uh, speaking of compelling rich, do you think we're at the age now uh, where kids can't like if you dropped an anchorman quote on them, would they understand it? Oh God, I don't want to think about that. It makes you feel old, but that's like uh, someone dropping like a caddy or airplane or Caddyshack joke, and like someone yeah. like Nixon. Like, I've never seen those fucking movies. I don't. Yeah, know I fucking love those. Movies. Well, I know. I'm just saying. Like, you're, I'm not yeah, saying Nick's you. Old as fuck. He's you have an old soul, but like. Younger kids, like I think Anchorman and all that, Billy Madison, all that's uh, that's a lot earlier, of course. But yeah, all yeah. that stuff uh, is we're we're dating ourselves by uh, a little bit. It. Yeah, maybe not Step Brothers, but we're getting there. But that shit, yeah, Step. Well, Step Brothers is now eleven years old. Right, came out that's in two thousand eight. Exactly. Yeah. So speaking of uh, redneck dumb trash sports that Nick yeah. hates. <laughs> Dale Earnhardt Jr. was taken to the hospital earlier today. Uh, you better when watch your plane, tongue, plane crash. His airplane ran off the runway uh, on their way to Bristol. Is the there's a race in Bristol, Tennessee Motor this weekend? Speedway, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but he, uh, the good news is everything. Everybody's okay. He was That's good, good on. News? Uh, he was good on Rogan's podcast. I, I I listened to that. I knew nothing about that. When man. was he on it? Uh, a while ago, about a month prob- ago, maybe. No, no, I didn't hear it longer than that. <clears throat> was it th- four? Probably months ago. Yeah, it was pretty good. And uh, no, it, it. I think racing, <laughs> like wrestling, is just not for me. I can't watch I, it. It's, I've never it's gotten into racing. I, people have tried to get all me the, into it. Oh yeah, you know, all yeah. The, all the jokes have been made about racing, but th- all those jokes were good at the time when they first came out because they're so true. It's like, I mean, and I'm not trying to rehash them, but it's like, I just, I, I honestly do not understand the appeal of NASCAR. I don't no. get it. I do not no. get it no. at all. Have you, have you guys ever gotten the, well, you just got to go to one race and then you're hooked. Oh yeah. 
I yeah. no, uh, that's, bro, that's bro, cool. Just go me. to one gangbang. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little different. You get to participate. <laughs> yeah, it's more you know? of a participation oh, I mean, sport for yeah. sure. It's just like any sport where it doesn't matter until the last two minutes. Basketball, like, yeah. Oh, you watch forty five minutes of basketball, and the last three minutes is the only time that matters. Like, who cares? I went to but a changed clean, it. I went to a cash game. NASCAR. Oh. Yeah, it's stage. Huh? It's stages now, so you have three stages in in the race. So oh, so you, you care can, for you nine can, minutes, maybe? You can win yeah. three different times. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> now I went to a, a Cavs, literally on Cleveland now. Cavaliers basketball game and was bored the entire time. Yeah, sports it's, it's are just, just kind of interesting. Sports are just kind of dumb in general. It's, it, it's you know. Let's be honest. It's easier to watch uh, on TV, yes. except for baseball. Baseball is the opposite, but the rest of them easier to watch on. No, TV. it is easier to watch for sure. Uh, yeah. There's certain sensations you get at a game oh depending God, on the sport. Baseball. Baseball is just boring on TV, oh. or it's better. Baseball's better at the game because you drink beer and don't pay attention. Baseball, which yeah. is not a glowing yeah. endorsement yeah. for baseball. <laughs> They can yell at the like players, which is what I do. Yeah, that's yeah. I love going to Dickie Stevens and uh, and heckling the outfielder there. Yeah, that's the right great. fielder, man. My, um, my parents still talk about Mark yelling at the Travelers game, but, but you can't yell. Were at they the, there? Yeah, when you, 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 you were all you were all drunk yelling Travelers. Oh, okay, and, you can't like, yell. Now, doesn't sound like Mark. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, randomly, we were walking around Cedar Point one. I went up, <laughs> and they were. We were walking around screaming, Travelers! <laughs> and everyone's That's looking at you like you're an asshole. These guys are really yeah. into but traveling. You but you can't yeah. yell, you can't yell, you know, Ford! As Dale Earnhardt Jr. blows by yeah. at 180 miles an hour. No, it's just not quite right. as... And you know, even if the entire audience is cheering for just one driver, they can't hear you. They're driving a V8 car with yep. no exhaust. A V8? Yep. It's like a V16. It's like, You can't I mean, hear anything. You have to wear headphones, like the noise right. canceling headphones. And they're headphones still right rattled, there. yeah. I uh, I think baseball V16. is a sport. Baseball is a sport <laughs> that I'm going to get into when uh, I get to a point where my hands don't work anymore. I can't play guitar. I can't do woodworking. I can't do the shit that I enjoy. So if you get run over, the, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm right at the point where uh, we haven't yet reached the singularity, but I'm just about to get loaded into a computer. So that's when I'm going to get into baseball. He keeps on coming back to this. That's fair. It's going to happen. I look. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. All right. I'm going to upload my brain into a fucking computer. <laughs> Mark, this is it's funny. going to happen. I was at work the other day, and somehow I got to talking about that. I was like, yeah, I got a buddy that thinks he's going to live forever. And the guy goes, what is he, like super rich or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. And no, you answered, not. yes. No, he's just, he's just optimizing. <laughs> He's got I'm it. Good. He's got I mean, basic cable. Why do you? Why do you guys think that this isn't going to happen? I don't understand why. Even you guys if it happens, it's going to be for the elite. Like it's Bill not going to be. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's What's, not going to be for the elite at all. It's oh, going to be for fucking everyone. Gonna Everyone's going to be able to the do great, it. The great thing is, if you live forever, we'll all die, and you won't get to gloat about it in our faces. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, I do not gonna gloat. Wanna, I'll be sad that you guys are gone. They're gonna oh, have the, they're gonna have precious. the person Thank from you. season three of Hoarders, episode seven. As Look, a, ten, someone years living forever. <laughs> ten years ago, ten years ago, ten years ago, if you said if, if you said VR is going to be something where that when you put on a VR headset, it's literally going to look like you're there. You'd be like, ah, that's not going to happen. Or people who are super rich are the are going to be the only ones who can afford VR. Look at this shit. 16-year-old gamers have fucking Oculus Rift now. Have fucking HTC Vive. If you think that you're not going to be able to upload your consciousness into a computer, you're fucking wrong. You're wrong. It's going to happen. Okay. Everyone's going to do it. Everyone's going to do it. And if you don't, it's because you're all hard up on Jesus. That's it. No. you would be like, we're meant to die. These bodies are shells. The soul lives forever. I'm going to heaven. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There are days that I wish for death, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to live forever. Wow. Oh, here we go. Whoa, shit. That's a deep, man. You it's wish like, for yeah, death. Dark, very dark. You wish for death. I work in you IT. Think... You work in IT. You, you know wish, this. You w yeah, but the thing is, you uh, wish so, for death because so, uh, you think something's going to happen after you die. I don't think anything's oh, going to no, happen no, no, after no, no, you die. Oh, no, 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 no. I fully accepted that I'm just going to rot in the ground. We're good. Yeah. yeah. Well, you Kirk meditate on that thought of not existing. Kirsten asked me what thought. I wanted to do when I died. I was like, I don't give a shit. Throw me in a dumpster. 
It's like that episode right. of Sunny where uh, yeah. Frank's like, yeah, just throw me in the trash. Who, uh, what do I care? We do not they, diddle kids. Yeah. We do not diddle kids. <laughs> but that was uh, legitimately my answer. What do I care what you do yeah, with well, me? That's Who the scar- That is the scariest thought to me of not existing. When you really think about the thought of not existing, you can't conceptualize it because there's no way for you to actually understand All what I nothing is. All I know is, is existing. <clears throat> right. So if you think about not existing, you can't conceptualize that. You can't actually. I've not existed before. You got it? I got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, lost it. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, fuck all you guys. You guys don't know the fucking existential crisis. When was the last that, time you was, not existed? Before I was born, I right. guess. And I don't. I didn't give like, a shit then. Yeah, but you give a shit now, so giving a shit is pretty awesome. And why would I not want to give a shit? Right. See, we, this is like suicide hotline material. We could talk anybody off the ledge right now. Not existing sucks. No, I could talk someone uh, off the ledge. You couldn't because you and Nick both are just like, ah, I've thought about death. I, I don't want to say die. that. Every other day. Yeah. <laughs> Every other day. Not, I'm My consciousness is going into a fucking computer. I'm going to live forever. I don't give a shit. Honestly, if I had it's to really be a get speaking down, spell. If I had to really get down to it, <laughs> if I had to really get down to it, Teddy, Teddy I get, Ruxpin. I don't care. <laughs> If I had to really get down Teddy to it. Ruxpin. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mark. You guys, I'm your friend. Hold on. You guys watch the Black Mirror where they put the woman inside a doll? Yes. Yeah. And it's like, oh, this is for your kid. Oh, and Miley then Cyrus? The, and then the kid yeah. like immediately forgets about the doll and she's just a mo- stuffed monkey for, for like ever. Wait, is this the Miley oh, Cyrus that's one? that's a different one. No, I'm thinking, yeah, of, Miley I'm thinking Cyrus. of Miley Cyrus. That was one. a good one, by the way. <sighs> it was okay. It was all right. She was pretty attractive in that. It's weird. Yeah. So she's not attractive. Whatever. She's whatever. Not. You're whatever. You're, are you annoyed? No, I'm not annoyed. I I was gonna say something. I can't remember what I was. He, gonna he's say, just but. thinking about how none of this matters in like 2,000 years when he's. No, I remember what I was gonna say. I remember. <laughs> what Thanks, I was gonna Dick. Say. We almost got off of it. I remember what I was gonna say. That Fuck. There's, if I if I really get down to it, there's absolutely no way, no way for me to prove that you and Nick and Tyler actually actually exist. I'm still alive. I know that I am real because I feel that I'm real, but I don't. I don't know. I just punched you. Yeah, I know. Did you okay. feel it? Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. No, 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 no. That doesn't prove anything. You're missing the whole point. So I could I be a simulation. Yeah, exactly. What I'm saying is I know that I'm alive because I feel like I'm alive, and I know me, but I don't feel you being alive. I don't feel Nick being alive. There's no way for me to ever prove that you and Nick are both alive or Tyler's alive. I'm dead inside. Exactly. This this is actually in the Dayton Shooters Manifesto. All of this. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) I'm just saying there's no way for me to prove it. I'm living my life. The El Paso's one was similar, but it just had hate for Mexicans peppered in. (laughs) There's no way to prove that these Mexicans are actually really here. (laughs) <laughs> Unless I walk into a Walmart with an assault rifle. Oh my god! Hey, did, did you guys hear about the guy that walked into a Walmart with body armor and a hundred rounds? And did you like, watch the video? social experiment? Social did you watch the video? Yeah. yeah. He, On, in what Missouri a fucking or little. Yeah. What a fucking yeah. asshole. There, there's a video where he goes, "Well, I didn't think it was going to be a big deal if I walked into a, a Walmart with two hundred rounds of ammunition, arm, armor on." And an assault rifle around my neck. They said it was going to be no. Okay. I think that guy was an, a mass shooter. Exa- that's and he exactly got what and I. He's think. trying to bitch his way out of it. Because he goes, well, didn't he? He was yeah. fucking whack job. He didn't. He, even, he was a copycat shooter. Yes, he, he got, was. He, he got, got charged. He got caught right little, away. Though, right. He, he should be locked up. He should. Yeah. Look, Tyler's back. Mm. I'm going to say what I said earlier. Uh, all, I can, all, all I could do. All I could hear was uh, Mark screaming. Mortals, listen to me, mortals. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had said that. Look, I've said this to you before. There's no way for me to prove that you are alive, just like Nick and Tim are alive, because I go. don't feel that. Well, why are you doing this shit? Have you guys ever thought about that? Can you we... know that you're alive, but you can't prove that I'm. You can't prove that I'm real. Look, you could just be living in a fucking like, simulation. It's, it's that's, called, like... that's called hard solipsism. What? <laughs> when, when you're, it's called hard solipsism. If there's I no really, way to prove that you aren't the only consciousness in the universe. Exactly. Yeah. There's no way for me to prove it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure it borders on schizophrenia. I'm willing to deal with that. But that's <laughs> the, that's a thought that I've had before. No, it's that you are you are already in a computer program and everything else is just a Elon simulation. Elon Musk, all that. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's not it's it's not new with Elon Musk, obviously. Yeah. 
Well, fuck all you guys. You haven't thought about it like I have because it clearly doesn't like trigger you. Triggers me. Maybe we have, but we're not real anyway, so who cares? Exactly. That's the thing. We're all just doing it. This podcast is just for my entertainment. If you dream that I've thought about it as much as you, then I have. Yeah. You mean I still have to eat that hot dog with the cheese on it? Yeah. Damn it. Can you make my reality better? Huh? Can you make my reality better? Can you tweak it for Tim? I can't make my reality better. <laughs> Mark, can there not be so much fucking traffic on Markham? I want, hey, can I have uh, six-pack abs? Uh, let me will it. I what if it's like a, what if it's a monkey? Dude, if I wake up a tomorrow with a washboard stomach, yeah. No, we're going to know. I'll tell you, we're right. Gonna know. No, we're no, gonna no, know. hold on. It's he gets six-pack abs, but he's still kind of like he still has the same thing. It's just in the form of abs. I'm going to lucid dream. I'm going to It's a monkey's I still have a beer belly, yeah. but it's, it's shaped like six-pack. You guys yeah. you guys you guys know when you uh when you stand up from the couch and walk into the kitchen and then you get there and you forget that you what you went in there for, and you have to walk back into the living room. Yeah, that's that's Mark took his hand off the controller for a that's minute. A, that's no, that, that's yeah. why I keep beer in the fridge, just so I, I just grab a beer. <laughs> when in doubt, that's probably it. Anyways, <laughs> this is probably why I came yeah. in here. I know what's going on right now. Hey. You guys in the simulation are trolling me to making me think that you guys aren't part of the simulation, but I know that you are. So I'm. T- it doesn't matter. Mark, it didn't matter. No, you know what's going to happen? We're all going to do this Smith. podcast. We're going to do this podcast. You guys are going to leave. We're going to go Smith. to bed tomorrow. Nothing Hugo crazy weaving. is going to happen. Nothing yeah. crazy is going to happen, guys. Hey, yeah. Mark, in my reality, every time there's a light thunderstorm, can my power not go out? <laughs> no. I had, no, that that was actually something. That's at actually a, for Mark. That's at a hard very, when that happens, it's yeah. for him. At a very young age, I remember uh, a distant relative coming to me and telling me what what reality actually is. And uh, I have programmed that into this universe that every single time a storm comes through, that transformer before be, behind your house is going to blow. Blows. So That's exactly what happens every fucking time. Th- that's me. I am God. You know that flat earth uh, uh, gif that we've seen? Those are my hands. Oh, man. You know, I actually oh, got... So cool. Tommy's going to love this. Yeah. I got a phone call from call my sister. Call BDT right now. I got a phone call from my sister, Big Dick Tommy's Tommy. twin, uh, this week. And she never calls me. So I was like, oh, what's this about? Did mom die? What's going on here? So um, obviously mom died. Very didn't. calmly. That's a fair, yeah. that's a fair yeah, phone what's call. What's this about? Did yeah. mom die? No, but she she said, hey, uh, just wanted to let you know, I was listening to your podcast, the one with Tommy on it, the flat earth one. And she goes... What's his problem? <laughs> like, he's crazy. I was like, look, I don't know. Uh, he's not crazy. He's convicted. She, I guess he's, she, they've never talked to him as much as we have about it. So they don't know how insane he is. But she said the best part of the whole podcast was when he goes, cause it's a fucking dome. <laughs> Which if you remember, that was the best part of the podcast. Hilarious. So I, I got to change this, the topic real oh, quick. Oh, Speaking, hold of, on real yeah. quick, just to go off the flat Earth thing. By the way, I'm real. just the just the other day. I I mean I can feel oh. you, but it, yeah. Just the other day, I clicked. His on, hand uh, went right through. He you. went right through me. Uh, I, I clicked on <laughs> iTunes and <laughs> iTunes uh, lets me see what our most downloaded episodes are and all that stuff. And since I s- sort of tweaked our SEO and all that stuff. Um, the flat Earth episode is like our number one episode. Really? Like, yes, yes. So many people uh, have listened to that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the flat That's Earth. Awesome. Episode. Thank yeah. you, Tommy. Yeah. He's, He's gonna retard. say retard. Speaking of crazy. <laughs> speaking of crazy and retard, Bam Margera. Oh yeah, we tease oh, yeah. that. We have to we get to that. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can spend the next fifteen minutes talking about this. <laughs> all right. So let, we all watch that the video, video, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, he's basically sitting on there. His life is shit after his success based on Dr. almost Phil. nothing. Dr. Phil. Can someone okay. give the backstory of exactly how he just started his like leap into insanity? Yeah, he uh, started a show called Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> it starts back then. Uh, well, and then and then he, he went got on, hit in the head a lot. He he goes on to do the uh, what, the Bam Mark. What was it Viva called? Viva La Bam. Viva La Bam. Where what he does is fucks with his dad for. That was a huge Every, show. It was. Um, I watched it. That was after now, Jackass the show and after like two movies. So I feel like th- this whole thing where he's pleading on Instagram for help from Dr. Phil. Um, if you really need help, just go to a regular doctor. First of all. Yeah, go to well, an actual he doctor. He just wants to so get back in the limelight. Yeah. 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 So when uh, Ryan Dunn died, like what? Like five or six years ago? More than like, that. It was longer than like, that. No, not... Not longer than that. Well, whenever Ryan Dunn died, Tyler's on it. 
Which, by the way, Ryan Dunn was drinking and driving and going over a hundred miles an hour in and like, like a Lamborghini. It or was something. it was his fast car, it was a Porsche. Yeah. A Porsche. Or yep. Porsche. To the point where uh, Porsche. I remember when they showed that video of 2011. The car out. 2011. 2011. I told wow. you it was a while ago, Eight man. Years ago. Wow. Jeez. That car was like nothing. They were picking up. It was worse than Paul car. Walker's car. Yeah, it was. It was in a tree. Yep. It was in a tree. And it had, That's like, how fast it, it had was blown going up. Were, yeah. It was on fire. So Ryan Dunn mm-hmm. died terribly. And apparently, Bam Margera's life just ended after that. Because he just started, like, severely drinking and yeah. taking. Ironically, Steve a ton cleaned of drugs. up. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. And uh, Novak. Remember that guy? Yeah, he was Novak like a heroin was, a, addict. He was on heroin. Yeah. It was real bad. He's like a motivational speaker now. Which is get weird. the fuck out yeah, of here! Yeah, yeah, he's Novak. Yeah. Because that was he that has a was website, in that the podcast. Well, no, that now. was in uh, Bam's video where he goes, "Novak is making sixty thousand dollars speaking at blah 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 about his heroin," and he's a fucking dope addict telling me that I need to get sober. Like, um, yeah. So, anyways, Bam Margera has been making St- a series. Can I just of, stop you right quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan Dunn driving a Porsche nine eleven GT. Yep. Paul Walker driving a Porsche Carrera GT. Stop Ooh, driving Porsches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're dangerous. Please do not disparage the German people. Our cars are made very good. It is the driver's fault. Isn't it Italian? Porsche? No. No, it's German. Really? No, I'm German. pretty sure it's that. German. Yeah. It was Italian. Yeah. Drive it to Waffle House! <laughs> uh, anyways, he, he just started descending into madness, basically. And over the past like couple of weeks, I'd say, he has made video after video after video of yeah. just losing his mind. So the most recent James one. James Dean was driving a Porsche 550 Spider. Oh, boy. Re- that doesn't Man, he's, right. he's been in so many good movies. James Dean? Yeah. James Dean was in like two. No, was there were like so th- many good movies. It he was, was in uh, three movies. There was, oh, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. I didn't mean to dis- okay, dis- yeah. derail you. Bam Margera is having a breakdown. <laughs> there is a porn actor named James yes, Dean. Yes, uh, yes. You know, anyways. <laughs> and he's a rapist, uh, too. Go ahead, I, Nick. I, I, I don't Can we continue? The Porsche, with the Porsche conspiracy or no? I don't know. Those are deep fakes. So it's... <laughs> Uh, Porsche is a big conspiracy, and then, uh, like, the most talented people die at 27 years old. Right. Yeah. Wait, were they all 27? Yeah. No, but Amy Winehouse, Kurt Cobain. Yeah, the 27 Club, uh, Jim Morrison, yeah. um, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Um, uh, what's her face? The, the chick, the old girl. Brad Knoll from Sublime almost was. He was 26. Uh, uh, what's, the, what's the old girl? The, uh, shit. She hippie. wasn't old. She was 27. No, no, no. Janice no. Joplin. Yes, yes. Yeah. She's she old. was 27? Yeah, 27. Really? It's called the 27 Club. Yeah. Good for them for joining a club. Doing something good in this world. It's always good to join a club. Robert Johnson, I believe, also. I didn't ever watch of them Jackass. Were real. So this I don't, is a, they I don't are even all know people who Ryan in my simulation. Dunn was. Uh, he was just part of one of the, he, he was, was one, one of the guys. 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 Yeah, yeah, just one of the guys. He hit, hit his buddies in the nuts. He was, and, uh, he was famous for sticking a car up his ass and getting an x-ray. Oh, it was okay. Steve-O, wasn't it? No, was no that was Ryan Devo. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Is that on his tombstone? Famous for sticking a car of his ass in a condom. <laughs> I think so. If Bam Margera heard what we just said in the last 15 seconds, he would fly. In the state of mind he's in, he'd fly, he'd fly down here, here and yeah. try but, to kick but all our asses. If we had a conversation with didn't him and he, said, what, what is like he a, actually Didn't yeah, he have a meltdown in an airport or something? He was screaming last, at a flight two in a weeks hotel. ago. In yeah, a hotel. Okay. Scream, hotel. calling yeah. him like a but, faggot. And yeah. So, yeah. so my question is, if, we asked, if Bam was here and we asked him, what is Ryan famous for? What would he say then? For jackass, I mean, which I is know. sticking a car up your ass? Yeah, and multiple other disgusting you know, acts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, so you think, but I'm so not gonna he, lie. I love in, jackass. When oh, it came it's out. fun. Yeah. It yeah. was fun. I watched all of them, and they're they're a blast. But uh, I would not want to hang out with those guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. I remember watching those movies and they're being gonna make like, you do something. I yeah. I don't want to be friends with any of those people no. at all. Um, and it's not surprising <laughs> that Bam is. <laughs> petitioning Dr. Phil, fake Dr. Phil, for yeah. a um, Is assessment. Dr. Phil he fake? Did, he denounced his is whole family. Fake? I don't think he's a medical doctor. No, he, he has he some sort of PhD. doctorate degree. I'm he pretty does. sure he does. Yeah, here's really? the thing, though. We could look that no, up. I think he, you know, I think he's a psychologist yeah. or something. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not Psychiatrist or something. Psychiatrist is a MD. That's Psychologist is not. Yeah. Whatever. 
He's right. fake doctor. Um, so does Bam Margera? There's do you a think difference he between has... MD and PhD, though. You can have your PhD. What you've got to do is you need to stop doing heroin. Okay, and grow, and grow you, a mustache like mine. You need to get on the treadmill and get moving. Eat less carbohydrates. He just tells you the most basic shit that everybody knows mm. and actually gets some like wisdom from on high. Dr. Phil is a loser. You're <laughs> fat, Dr. Phil. You're fat. Why don't you get on the treadmill? Why don't oh, you wow. stop eating carbs? Fuck you, Dr. Phil. We found Tim's uh, button. Oh, I fucking hate Dr. Phil. <laughs> what about, or how do you feel about Dr. Oz? He's cool. The, oh, oh no. <laughs> He's legit. Dr. Oz. He's legit. No, that guy is a snake oil salesman. He's the worst. Come on. Dr. Yeah. Oz is worse than Dr. Phil because he's like, he'll give you, he'll just straight up lie to you to get you a, get you to buy a supplement. Yeah. I've seen so many <laughs> videos of Dr. Oz. Was That's waiting true. for it. Oh. Talking about You've that. got to buy some red algae. It's great. <laughs> you know, like, what? That's what they do. He, he just goes, in the keto diet, you can eat all the avocados you want. And everyone goes, yeah. Eat 17 a day, you'll lose 10 pounds. <laughs> shit your brains out, too. Yeah. Imagine your shit on 17 avocados. It's just it's just guacamole coming I'm out. Gonna, honestly couldn't I'm do gonna, it. Th- that's a challenge that I, w- I will take. 17 I'll, I'll eat 17 avocados You could not do it. It's I, impossible. It's not. What? Here we go. Oh. Are you th- Whatever. 17 avocados? I could eat 17 avocados in a day. After one, I'm like, oh, it's too much. Oh, my God. No, I love avocados. I could eat 17 oh, in a day. For like, sure. Eat them like For gra- sure. <laughs> like grapes? The only <laughs> the only problem that I'd run into is... I think it, Bam Margera should eat 17 avocados. That's, that's, that's jackass stuff. That's what they do when they're 40 plus. It's just like... <laughs> Welcome to Jackass. We're going to eat 17 avocados and kick you in the nuts. <laughs> this is called eating 17 avocados in a day. And then the guy eats 17 avocados and then eight hours later he gets hit in the nuts. I'm Johnny Knoxville and I'm going to stick an avocado <laughs> up my ass sideways. I'm Johnny Knoxville and I'm about to eat 17 avocados. <laughs> That's the worst. Do you think Van Margera actually has some mental issues, or is oh he, for sure? Is he just dude? He said he in that video. Yeah, he's like, I'm just bipolar. So what? Been, so what if I burnout? take Adderall and drink fucking Coors or whatever? Yeah, that could just be. So he's like on a, meth and beer. He's on more than that. I, th- I think he Mark's said he probably dr- right. He's bipolar. He said he drinks. He said he drinks two to three beers a day. <laughs> Whoa, easy, buddy. But they're those 36 ounce natty ice. By the way, Mark, uh, you know what he natter does? Natter days? He's Nat- drinking natter Nat- days. Oh. <laughs> Mark, you know what he does natter for a living? Natter days for the boys. <laughs> or he says he does for a living now? Stand up comedy. Oh, of course. Yeah. That's, He's uh, that's hilarious. Yeah. So is this a bit? Is this whole thing a bit? I don't think it's a bit. He's pulling an Andy Kaufman on us. (laughs) He's a regular Andy Kaufman. (laughs) I I haven't talked about Bam Margera in over a decade. Yeah. Now suddenly everyone's talking about Bam Margera. He's got cancer. He's going to a faith healer. I think he's (laughs) desperately trying to cling to some some sort of crystals. He's desperately trying to cling to some. I need Doctor Phil or crystals, whatever you can provide. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Let's uh, let's wrap this one up. Yep. We did this one. There's nothing else to talk about with Bam Margera, right? Like, we've done it. How's that CBD? Yeah, it's good stuff. I guess he's fine. No. I mean, I can't help him, obviously. So. Nobody can help him. No. He's yeah. got to get off them natter days. What do you think the over-under is on when he dies? Yeah, he's not making it to 50. Oh, no. He's got to be, what, late 30, uh, he's early 39. 40s? Oh. He's 39. He turns 40 Shit. in September. He They're looks like his age. late 40s. Jesus. That's why I commented in the group. I was like, the, get, the dude, he's a four, he's got a 14-year-old's brain in a 39-year-old's body, which is actually like a 55-year-old's body. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were just speculating. No, he's, he's turning 40 in September. Wow. Yeah. I looked that shit up. Oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Look that shit up, Jamie. Bruh, look it up. <laughs> Jamie, pull that up on that. Oh, real quick. Um, did you see where people are signing petition that they want Joe Rogan to moderate a debate? Yes. And I'm like, does Joe Rogan want to moderate a debate? I don't give a fuck if he does or he doesn't. D- d- like, he should. He should. Nobody would. wants to hear about presidential DMT. It would definitely be yeah. better better yeah, than... It would be better than Don <laughs> Lemon, who uh, just got me too <laughs> 
<laughs> Did he? Yeah, you didn't hear about that? No. Some guy said that he like groped him in a bar and then came up and put his fingers under his nose and said, do you like pussy or dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I swear what? to God, that's a thing. Look it up, man. They're, CNN's been very quiet about it, and believe it or not. So that, Tim's drunk. No, 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 this is a real thing. Look it up. No, it's not. Don Lemon got me This, is, of course, I don't believe that's a real course, story. Of course, Nick is going to say no, it's not. Nick didn't even want to acknowledge the fact that I brought up scientific journals when I talked about the supplements that I take. Nick wanted to d- just like dismiss them as if they weren't true. So of course he's not going to believe you. You are still angry about that, like forever ago. I'm not angry. I'm using it as a reference right, point right. to show that it doesn't matter what people. Ah, look at that. Quick Google search. Wait Doug. a second. Wait a second, Nick. Don't believe it because you're it's a guy right in front who's always eyes. complaining about fake news. That's probably a fake news story. Whether it is or not, it's it's uh, you know it's out there. It's out there, man. <laughs> what? What? Uh, well, you can say this. Everyone's led. <laughs> that was Look, funny. It, it's just it, funny. He's like, it, it's probably fake news. Could be. Could be. We don't know. It's, <laughs> believe, believe all women. Believe all Don Lemons. I don't know. You got to believe people <laughs> until otherwise stated. It's, it's just how it is now. That's how it is. Did Don Lemon put his finger in some, under some guy's nose and say, do you like pussy or do you like dick? Maybe. I don't know. What is that? It's hilarious if he did. Was it his, was it his own dick finger? See, or? that's where I don't know. It sounds like he groped the guy and then put it under his nose. and So he it. made the dude smell his own dick? I think so. Oh, Which is well, a, that's weird. It's an weird. alpha move. No, but at some an point. An alpha move. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to give the man a little respect, I guess. At some point. I don't really at know. At some point, though, when a story. How I feel about and, it. When it's a, an alpha move. <laughs> <laughs> when, when a story's that specific, though, you kind of go. Uh, no one can make that shit up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if he's now, like, now I'm wishing it was back in the day when, uh, when we were all young trash men, and we could just, and we could take this information and just go to Willie D's and stick our hands uh, down girls' pants yeah. and say, "Do you do like, you like <laughs> pussy or dick?" As they smell <laughs> your finger I don't that's know. been down their I, pants. I think it's hilarious. It's like, what? What? How does that? How do you think I that's just, gonna go? I, I the wish the guy suddenly could, like yeah. dick. Yeah. My own. No. Well, I used to like out. pussy, but after smelling that, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's pretty damn good. I wish I could go back to when I was younger, when I didn't care about politics at all. How is that politics? It's about a guy putting his finger. Oh, in his... it's always it all... about it politics, is. Tim. Stop doing that shit. Everything is nowadays, right? Yeah, it yeah. always is. Video games, especially. Yeah. It's probably yeah. a deep fake. Like it wasn't actually Don Lemon. It was Don Cheadle. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was Don Cheadle to Don Lemon yeah. <laughs> or Don Juan. <Yeah. laughs> well, that's something Don Juan would do and get away with it. Yeah, it's if my weird name was Don get, Juan. I would. It's <laughs> weird how you could get away with that shit in earlier times, and it's just like, oh, he's an aggressive romantic. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's just very passionate. Yeah. <laughs> And he really uh, honestly didn't care if you liked pussy or dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, <laughs> Alpha move, man. Yeah. He just wanted to know. It's just how, <laughs> it's just how he's wired. You know? <laughs> he, right. he checked everyone at the bar, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for listening, folks. We really appreciate it. Uh, go rate us on iTunes or Google Play. And uh, I don't know that we've never talked about this. Not that we need to get into it. Are there any other platforms that you can actually rate people on? All, all of them. I'm can sure. you? Just look We're around. We're gonna start one. Look We're around start for platforms and rate them if you can. Rateyourpod dot com. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. There you go. That's a website we need to uh, another EOTB exclusive. Mm-hmm. We've had so many good ideas that we've never capitalized yeah. on. So I'm sure yeah. someone's making money off them right now. Well, that's, that's our yeah. IP. Yeah. So if they if someone starts that tomorrow, we're gonna sue the shit out of them. Absolutely. Well, yeah. It's documented. Well, if someone, yeah. if after someone, this drops, if someone yeah. starts it next Friday, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna sue the shit. It doesn't matter. Fuck them. All right, take them down. Thanks so much. Go rate us. Go hit us up on Facebook. Rate us on there. That's where we really care about that shit. We'll see you on the next one. Do you like pussy or dick?